Hello, hello, my dear class. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good Hi. evening, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you today? Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, thank you. And you? I am doing good. Very happy to be here, to see you, to listen to you again, to share in this last day of the week for us. Let's see in this case, Juan Antonio, are you a father yet? No, right. You are very young. No yet. <laughs> no yet. So right now I can only say, Luis Eduardo, happy Father's Day <laughs> for tomorrow. No teacher. No you teacher. are not a father. No. Hey, hombre, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so happy Father's Day for your parents, right? Para sus papás. <laughs> Para todos Thank los papás you. de mis alumnos, happy fathers. <laughs> so, Luis Eduardo, you don't have children. Tampoco. No, no tiene, no tiene hijos todavía. No. <laughs> todavía Soltero. No. <laughs> ah, <bueno. laughs> Single. <laughs> On top. <right>? Single. <laughs> Single and looking. <laughs> well, Zoom, Zoom has to activate that option. Single, married, <laughs> taken. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. How old are you, Luis? How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Ah, uh, 44. Yeah, so you are still you are still on the age of getting married. And Jorge, for sure, you don't have children, right? Right now, Mr. Jorge Alberto, do you have children? No, <laughs> it's like no yet. <laughs> No yet. And Mr. Marlon? Hola. Hello, Mr. Marlon Mendoza. Do you have children? No. No yet. Oh, my God. And Nelson? Nelson Rodimiro? Hi, teacher. Do you have yes, children? Yes, I am. No, <laughs> yes, you... I have. I have. You have children. Si ¿Sí tienes hijos? Si. Sí. How many? ¿Cuántos? Um, <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. How, how many children do you have? ¿Cuántos, ¿Cuántos hijos tienes? Two children. Ah, two. You have two children. Nine and seven years old. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I said like 97. I was like, oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> so you see, we have one here. And for Carla Stephanie's baby too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so tomorrow, like celebrate with the ones that you have or any uh, paternal figure that you have at home. If not celebrate because you are going to be a future father <laughs> one day. <laughs> so we are going to start today we are going to practice a little bit on uh, the present continuous forms. But first I wanted to go and stop here for a moment on the platform. Let me just open it. This is the section that we have already finished. Esta es la sección que ya teníamos terminada para hoy. And in most of the cases, we were uh, struggling a little bit on uh, these type of sentences, right? We were practicing this when you were describing your clothes. And in this one, remember that you have to use the verb for sure with wearing. My name is Claire. I am wearing a green suit today. And here you have high heels too. What will be the option for this one? Um, wait. I am wearing, right? I am wearing high heels too. It's raining, but I, a raincoat. No tiene abrigo. So in this case, it's a negative form. So you say, but I am not, I am not wearing, wearing a raincoat, right? This is a negative form. And in this one, here you have the picture of the kids in, on the park, right? It's hot today. Toshi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they sunglasses. 
Do they have sunglasses on the picture? Yes or no? No, no. So you say, but they are not wearing. Are not wearing, right? They are not no. wearing sunglasses. And in this case, you see the man there in a very windy situation and says, Phil is wearing a suit today. He is wearing. He is wearing. Wearing a brown shirt, but he he doesn't it's have, not, he is not, not he's not wearing. He wearing. is not wearing a wearing. You see, that's a problem. He's not wearing a tie today. Right? Yeah. And here you have the lady. It's cold today, but Kathy isn't wearing a coat. She, a sweatshirt. She's, she is yeah. wearing, right? She is wearing, she's wearing sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat. Does she have boots? No. She's no. not wearing. She is, she not, is wearing not wearing, boots. right? She is not wearing. And boots. sneakers. She, she is wearing. She is wearing, is wearing, wearing She is wearing sneakers, right? So that's basically it, right? For these sentences. It was just to add uh, is wearing or is not wearing, right? That was basically it for this exercise, right? And it was giving you a lot of problems. Si dejaron alguna ahí todavía con menos porcentaje, la pueden completar para que les dé el 100%. And in this one, uh, these were the questions that we were practicing yesterday. Yesterday we did this conversation and it says, is that Jennifer's hat? No, it is not hers. It's May. mine. Porque, mine. Ocup porque ocupamos mine y no my. Because okay. in the end. Because it's at the end of the sentence, right? Because it is at the end of the sentence and for sure, it is a possessive form, right? It's mine, it's me, right? Are these gloves? Your, your, your right? Your, your because your. yours is the form that we use at the end. No, they are not. My, my, gloves. Gloves. my gloves. My gloves. Let's ask Sally. Maybe they are? Hair. 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 hair gloves, hair. right? Hair. Gloves. We cannot say hairs because hairs is going to be used at the end of the sentence. T-shirts are these. Are they Julie's and Pat's? Whose? 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 Because it's the form of the question, right? Whose T-shirts are these? And no, they are not. If you are talking about Julie's and Pat's, they are they are T-shirts. But these socks are. Theirs. Theirs, theirs, right? Because it's at the end of the sentence. It's on theirs. And these shorts are? Yours. Yours, right? These shorts are yours. Hey, these are not our, our, our clothes. Our. You're right. Our. Our. Ours are over there, ours. right? Ours. In this case, because you use ours here, porque se refiere a las nuestras, right? Las nuestras están allá. Si, si ocupáramos our here, tendríamos que poner clothes después. Or clothes are over there. Y aquí ya no tenemos otro, otro sujeto más que ours. Good. So this is basically what we were working on this one. And maybe the most confusing part of this, uh, this section was the audios, right? Because some of them were kind of confusing, right? And uh, they were saying like, what are the people doing? And you listen to different audios. But that is about a little bit about on the next section. And in here, the light green jacket. The picture is the one that has this strange color, right? But it is, yes, he is wearing, a, is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Yes, he is, right? Yes, he is. Dice. Ajá. Pero ahí no me la aceptaba si me llevaba el puntito. Yes. Exactly like that. Es lo que le iba a decir. Right? Yes, he is. And the period. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí no lo tiene la plataforma. Si se fijan, en muchos casos de la plataforma tiene el punto. Pero aquí no lo tiene. Se le yes, he is. Is Nick wearing sunglasses? Nick? Sunglasses? No. No, no, no he is right? not. No, he is not, right? Say no, he is not. No, he is not. 
and here for sure the capital N with a period. I think it needs it there. Is Beth wearing a purple jacket and pants? A purple jacket yes. and pants? Yes. 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 yes, she is. Yes, she is, right? Yes, she is. Here you have, yes, she is. The next one, is John wearing blue jeans? John. No, he is not. No, no, he's no. Not. no he is not, right? No, he is not. I have it right here because I did it before. No, he's not. And the last one, you say like, is Anita wearing a yellow, a yellow shirt? Is Anita wearing, 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 <laughs> wearing a yellow no, shirt? No, she is not. No, she is no, not. No, she's no. not, right? No, she's not. She's not wearing a yellow shirt. It is a light blue, right? No, she is not. <clears throat> and there you go. And in this one, you have to be very careful because in some cases you might tell me, no, teacher, but what's going on in this one? Right? In some cases, it needs the period. The first one, curiously, needed the period, right? For the other ones, it has. It. So this was like the part that we were struggling the most with this section. And it is basically it, right? Is it basically it uh, about section four that you have already completed? And on the next one, that is a section number five, that is the one that you are going to be working for this last section of the platform. Esa es la última que les queda ya para, para completarla toda. Ok. No sé a dónde está temblando, pero no aquí, ¿no? <laughs> ok. Un temblor, dijo alguien ahí, no sé. So, this section is the one that you should have completed uh, by now, right? Section number five, that it's the last one. And you are going to keep using also uh, some, a little bit about uh, present continuous and time, right? We're going to learn a bit about time on this one and how to mention, right? How to say the time. And this is uh, something that we are going to introduce uh, on the previous unit, right? And in this one, this was like uh, the different intonations of yes, no questions, right? Are you wearing a coat? And here you have falling or rising. What is the difference? When you have yes, no questions, it's rising intonation. Are you wearing a coat? Yes or no? What are you doing now? And it's falling, right? What time is it? Is it midnight? And then you have a rising intonation. En la cuestión de entonación, tenemos esas dos opciones, ¿verdad? Falling intonation and rising intonation. La más común que en todas las palabras, en todas las preguntas, perdón, de yes, no, las que comienzan con are or is, la entonación siempre es rising, porque estamos esperando una respuesta. Right? Are you happy? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Why are you not happy? Okay, why are you unhappy? And the intonation goes down. Right? What time is it? You don't say, what time is it? Ahí estaría equivocado. So all the ones that go with are or is are rising. And all the ones that are with WH are falling. Siempre todas las preguntas que comienzan con W, H o con WH forms van a ser con entonación hacia abajo. ¿okay? No es que la entonación se va a bajar, ¿okay? pero cuando la mencionamos decimos, por ejemplo, What color is his t-shirt? Right? You don't say, what color is his t-shirt? No, right? Because it would be incorrect. Are you from Thailand? And then you go like, are you from Thailand? And then you finish. That it's rising intonation. Todas las de yes or no son rising. Porque esperamos una respuesta. Que nos digan, yes I am, no I am not. So that's the difference between these ones. And eh, as I was mentioning, según lo que los he mencionado, sin escuchar el audio, esa que tenemos, are you wearing a coat? Sería rising or falling? Rising. 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 What are you doing now? Falling. 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 What time is it? Or what time is it? Falling. 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 Is it midnight? Rising. 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 What Rising. color is his t-shirt? Falling. 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 Falling, right? And are you from Thailand? 
Rising. 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 Rising, right. Inconscientemente les muevo la cabeza hacia arriba o hacia abajo. <laughs> Depending on the question. <laughs> right? Like, is it, is it this? Is it like that? Right? And it is just like that. That's like a little tip that I can give you on this one. And for sure, here you have uh, questions about the images. We are going to practice a little bit more on present continuous about what the people are doing. Right now we have practiced present continuous with wearing. I am wearing this, I am wearing that. But we are going to go over present continuous for activities that are happening at the moment. Exactly on the moment, right? El presente continuo se ocupa con acciones que están sucediendo en ese preciso momento. What am I doing right now? The teacher is talking. The teacher is explaining. The teacher is speaking, right? Because I am doing it on the moment, right? If I get a book right now, if I get a book and I open it in front of you, what is the teacher doing? Reading. 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 What is the teacher doing? Listening. Listening to the students. What is the teacher doing? Speaking to the students. Speaking. So that is another form of present continuous. We use the form of wearing, right? La primera forma que ocupamos con este tema es wearing. I am wearing a blouse, I am wearing pants, I am wearing shoes. Estoy usando en este momento, right? But this is a little bit different. And it follows the same example, but the present continuous goes with the verb to be. She is wearing, I am wearing, they are wearing, right? You need to use the present continuous. This is just a little, a little overview for you to work on this unit. And this was the most challenging part. Many of you were saying, what is the person doing? Ese sonido, que es ese sonido, right? Because we have different sounds on, uh, on the different forms in the platform. Maybe the most difficult was the last one because it sounds yeah. like if she is in a supermarket, but she's typing. She's typing a letter, right? On the different sounds. I am going to play them and we're going to work on them together, okay? Okay, let's listen to it. Hey, otra vez. Siempre me deja aquí enfrente de los niños. I am going to refresh it. Okay, but the idea is that we can listen to them. Number eight, it was typing. She is typing. Right now it's working there. It, she's refreshing, okay? If not, I am going to go back to this a little later. Here, now this is the reading and it was this one. Listen to the different sounds. Teacher. Yes? Answer uh, questions about look, each. Oh, okay. No, 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 go ahead. ¿Qué me ibas a decir? No, eh, lo que le iba a decir es que en mi caso le daba ahí y no me funcionaba, sino que le daba en la parte de arriba. Ajá, a mí lo que me pasa es que a veces le tengo que dar con la barra espaciada. Ok. <laughs> Thank you. Sound. There you go. One. What was she Two. doing? Okay. Driving. Driving. Swimming. Swimming. Three. Eating. 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 She's eating, right? Four. Um, watching. Watching TV. Next Wednesday night. Five. Dancing. dancing. She's dancing, right? Number six. Six. Riding a bike. Riding a bike, right? Riding. She's riding, riding a, bike. a bike. A bike. Seven. Playing tennis. Playing tennis. Explotando vejiga. <laughs> Eight. 
typing. She is typing. Typing. Right? She's typing. So here you have all the options that you can have. Ahí me dice, pero es que no me agarra ninguna. Maybe we're not writing the correct one. She's driving. She's driving. She is driving. She's driving with period, driving or driving. All these options. The next one, swimming, swimming, she's swimming. All the options are possible. She's eating. She's eating. She's eating, eating or just eating. Watching TV, watching television, watching TV. All these options are possible. She's dancing or just dancing. She's riding a bike or riding a bicycle. It's correct. She's playing tennis or just playing tennis and that's correct. And the last one, typing. Typing, she's typing. All these options are possible, okay? So after this one, <clears throat> we need to remember that after we finish this unit, we're going to have a reading and we have the final section that is the final exams, okay? We need to remember that this is the last part that we should be done with it, right? Para el próximo martes o miércoles ya tenemos que haber terminado hasta con los exámenes, okay? Porque el jueves es nuestro último día. Ya para el jueves ya vamos a tener que presentar el certificado. Teacher. Yes, Carlita. Y va a explicar usted lo, lo de las horas o ya le explico. No, I am going to do it. Ahorita les estaba dando el overview de lo que venía en la plataforma oh. y qué es lo que teníamos que hacer. No, I am going to explain it. Much. Es que se me costó mucho. No, I am going to explain it. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. I am okay, going to explain thanks. it. It's like, no, la teacher nunca me lo va a explicar. Yes, I am going to do it. Okay, right now, we are going you. to focus a little bit on uh, present continuous, right? We're going to focus on present continuous a bit. Let me see. I am going to, oh, I am not sharing my screen. It's right here. Okay. This is what we were doing yesterday, right? Eso es lo que vimos el día de ayer the possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives. And for sure, we are going to keep working a little bit on this one. But uh, this is the example that we did on the, on the platform as well. And we are going to go a little bit on uh, the topic of the present continuous now. And it's just like, oh no, what's the matter? It's a snow wind and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you are wearing your coat. Yes, but my coat isn't warm. And I am not wearing boots. Let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Imagine, what is the difference between the two ladies? One of them is completely prepared for the weather. But what about the other one? This one is completely prepared for the weather. What objects does she have? She has? A hat, she hat. has scarf. scarf, she has boots, she has boots, she has a coat, and she coat. has gloves, gloves. and jeans, right? Jeans. This is not a baby, okay? This is clothes. Esa es la ropa que traían de la lavandería. <laughs> and she's, she's carrying a baby, no. And the lady, imagine this lady, she's not wearing a hat. She's not oh. wearing a hat. She's not wearing gloves. She's not wearing gloves, right? She's not wearing gloves. What else? She's not wearing a scarf. She's not she wearing, wearing a scarf. She's, she's not wearing not, boots. She's not wearing boots. She's wearing a skirt. She's wearing a skirt. She's not wearing jeans, skirt. right? She's wearing. She's not wearing a coat. She's not wearing a coat, right? She's wearing a light uh, sweater like mine, right? She's wearing a very light sweater. If you go with this in a very cold weather, you are going to die. <laughs> you are going to just like freeze up like, <laughs> and you are going to be suffering a lot because these things are not hot at all. So go with me and it says, oh no. Oh, oh no. no. What's oh, the matter? No. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter is like, pasa, 
¿Qué, qué pasó? <risa> it, it's snowing and it's very cold. It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? Are you wearing your gloves? Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. No, they are, they are at home. home. Well, you're wearing your coat. Well, well you're wearing, you're your, wearing coat. your coat. 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 But my coat isn't warm. But my coat is warm. And I am not wearing boots. And I am not wearing boots. I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Okay, okay let's, let's take, take, a take a taxi. taxi. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Thanks Julie. Julie. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Okay, it's like, okay, Thanks. let's take a taxi. Julie. Imagine it, if it starts raining and you are near Salvador del Mundo and you have to go there to Soyapango. It's like, no, by bus, it's terrible. Let's call an Uber, you say. So, and you better go in a different type of transportation. Let's see. In this case, we have the different expressions with present continuous, right? With present continuous, as I was explaining before, we have here the different forms. When you say, I am and I am not, right? You are or you are not. Remember that the verb to be is always going to be included. Siempre vamos a incluir el verbo to be. Depende la forma de, pre de persona que tengamos. I am, you are, she is, we are, they are, right? For the negatives, you are going to include not, right? You are not, you are not wearing boots, you are not wearing jeans, right? You are not wearing a scarf. In this case, we use this form of the verb to be. And the conjunctions are the ones that can be connecting, or they can be contrasting. You can have the conjunction and it's for you to connect. The conjunction but is for you to contrast. You can tell me, I am wearing sandals, but I am not wearing jeans, right? Or you can tell me, I am wearing jeans and I am wearing boots, right? And it's for you to connect but it's for you to contrast, okay? So you have, it's snowing and it's very cold, right? It's snowing and it's very cold. Aquí me dice, está nevando y está bien helado, right? And you join the two ideas. And lo usamos para unir, but lo usamos para contrastar. I am wearing a coat, but I am not wearing boots. You can say, I like Pizza Hut, but I don't like pizza. He will be like, what? <laughs> yeah, I go for I go for the salad, I go for the lasagna, I go for the garlic bread. But maybe you don't like pizza. And that's your favorite restaurant. You can say, I love Chinese food, but uh, I cannot cook. So the only option that you have is going to a restaurant or ordering for it. So in this case, for the question, you put the present continuous at the beginning, the verb to be, then the subject and the ing form. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she is not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they are not, right? Like in the exercise we did about the different forms of the sentences. And here I have some examples. In this case, remember that for he, she, and it, you use what? ¿Qué forma usamos para he, she, or it? Is. 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 For I? Is. I am. Um, I am. And, and for we, you, and they? Are. Are, right? I am wearing, she is wearing, you are wearing. And we used these ones yesterday on the exercises, right? Ayer cuando se estaban describiendo decíamos, I am wearing jeans, I am wearing shoes, I am wearing black uh, sweater, right? So you were using this form of sentences. Here, 
Let me just go deeper on, on this one. I have some examples for affirmative, negative, and interrogative. In this case, I have it with the verb wearing, right? Para los diferentes formas de present continuous, you can say, I am reading, I am cooking, I am not cooking, I am dancing, right? And here you make the just no questions. I need you please to make one example on your notebook of I and one example of your notebook with he or she. Okay? Vamos a hacer las tres oraciones. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Usando el sujeto I y hacemos tres oraciones. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Usando el sujeto she. Me pueden cambiar lo demás. She is wearing sandals. She is wearing a dress. She is wearing a coat. She is not wearing jeans, right? You can create your examples. Vamos a crear tres ejemplos con I y tres ejemplos con he or she. Okay? Go ahead, on okay. your notebook. You can invent and you can change the information, right? Le pueden cambiar la información aquí a como ustedes gusten. Here you can say, I am wearing shoes, sandals, coat, whatever thing. Write it down. Nelson, can you give me your examples? Teacher, I am wearing boots. I am not wearing tie. I uh, are you wearing boots? No, I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I am not wearing uh, a tie. A tie, because you have to specify uh, because it's singular. A tie, una corbata. Go ahead. The next one. Uh, she she is wearing t-shirt. 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 She's wearing a t-shirt. Uh, she is not wearing boots. Uh, is, is she wearing a tie? Is she wearing a tie? Good. Very good. Very good. Excellent examples, Mr. Nelson. Uh, Jorge Alberto, go ahead. I am wearing gloves. I am not wearing tie. I am not wearing a tie. A tie. Are you wearing jacket? Ah, oh, yes, I am today. Yay. She is wearing a yellow blouse. She is not wearing a backpack. Is she wearing uh, sunglasses? Okay, is she wearing sunglasses? Ahí en sunglasses no ocupamos a. Because it's plural. Thank you very much. Very good job, Mr. Jorge. And Leti, go ahead. I am wearing blue jeans. Okay. I am not wearing a skirt. A skirt. Are you Are you wearing uh, gloves? No, I am not. <laughs> she is wearing and, a dress. Mm -hmm. She is not wearing a scarf. Is she wearing a hat? Very good job. Very good job. 
And I need two more volunteers. Thank you, Leti. Very good examples. Thank you, Carla Stephanie. Go ahead. And Maria Guadalupe. Okay. I am wearing sandals. I am not wearing a skirt. Are you wearing suit? No, I am not. <laughs> the next she, one. She's wearing a skirt shirt. She's not wearing jeans. And is she's wearing shoes? Is she wearing? Wearing. Wearing. Very good. Wearing. Thank you very much. Very good sentences. There we go with Carla Stephanie. Okay, I am wearing a sweater. I, I am, am wearing not a wearing sweater. A sweater. I am not wearing gloves. Are you wearing a cap? Very good. No, I am not wearing a cap today. <laughs> she is wearing sneakers. Uh, she is not wearing socks. And is she wearing hiking boots? Okay, is she wearing hiking boots? Very good examples. And Mr. Juan Antonio, just to finish. I'm wearing socks, but I'm not wearing shoes. Very good. She's wearing a skirt, but she's not wearing high heels. Very good. And the questions? Are you wearing high heels? No, I am not. I'm wearing flats. Flats are the shoes that are like pachitos for the ladies, right? Si se que andas usando. You can say ballerinas or flats. Ballerinas son los zapatitos de meter que son pachitos. En flats son igual los zapatos que no tienen taco. Son para las chicas más que todo. Flats. Good. Very good examples, Mr. Juan Antonio. Very good sentences. I am going to call the attendance, my dear class, before anything else happens. Nante que nada suceda. Vamos a pasar la lista. Recuerden, eh, si escuchan su nombre, díganme here or present. Y si de repente lo veo en cámara que me está haciendo ahí eh, movimientos y no lo alcanzo a ver yo, díganme. Yes, teacher, she's here. Jennifer Tatiana. Jennifer, present. Thank you. Jorge Alberto. Present. Thank you, Jose Alexander. Present. Thank you, Josue Mejia. Present. Juan Diego. Juan Diego Mejia Rico. Juan Antonio Chávez. Thank you. Carla Lisset Martinez. Present. Carla Nicole Hueso. Eh, Carla Stephanie. Present. Catherine Judith. Present. Thank you. Catherine Paola. This is Catherine Paola Rodriguez. No. The next one. Eh, Katia Dalila. Katia Dalila. Of my heart. No. Leticia Aide. Present. Linda Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Lucia Fernanda. Lucia Fernanda. Luis Eduardo Méndez. Present. Manuel Alfredo Cruz. Eh, eh, María Elena Galdames. Present. María Guadalupe Martínez. Present. Thank you. María Teresa Murillo. Present. María Antonia. Present. Thank you. Marlon Jose Mendoza. Present. Marta Jacqueline. Present. Miguel Leonidas. Nelson Rodimiro. Present. Noemi Abigail. Norma Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Patricia Marisela. Rodrigo Antonio Alvarado. Present teacher. And Rosalba. Rosalbita. She, uh, I saw her only one day and she left. Thank you very much, my dear class, for your uh, responses. 
on the attendance. That was very, very, very good. So <clears throat> to continue with the topic, right? To continue with the topic that we were discussing and for sure, along with the examples that I already gave you, I have the examples that you saw on the presentation, right? This, the ones that you saw on the platform, right? And as you remember, here we have, okay, this ones. Here we have the different examples that we did in the platform. Let me ask, I'm going to choose one person. Marta Jacqueline, can you help me with number one? Ya la hicimos en la plataforma, pero podemos leer el parrafito que tenemos aquí. This one. Uh, my name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. It's raining, but I don't wearing a rain raincoat. I am Como not wearing raincoat. I'm rain not wearing a raincoat. Okay, remember, this is a suit. Suit. Suit es un traje de dos piezas. Sweet, sweet. Es un dulce. Sweet, it's dulce. Suit is traje. Let's read the next one. I am going to ask uh, Maria Teresa. Can you help me with the next one? Uh, the microphone, Maria Teresa. Perdón. Very good. It is good. Today, and Noric, Noric, Norico, Norico, um, are not shorts. No, they are wearing shorts. Yes. They are wearing, porque si tienen shorts y camisetas. They are wearing. They are wearing shorts and shirts. T-shirts. T-shirts. It is very soon. Sunny, but um, they they not. They are not. Uh huh. They are not sunglasses. They are not wearing, but they are not wearing yeah. sunglasses, right? They are not wearing sunglasses. The okay. next one, Mr. Mario Antonio, can you help me with the next one? About feel. Feel. Is wearing or is not wearing? Feel uh, is wearing mm -hmm. a suit today. He wearing pants. He's and wearing uh -huh. pants, pants and a jacket. Mm -hmm. He wearing a brown brown, brown, shirt, brown shirt, but. But he uh, is not, not a tie. Okay, a remember tea. a tie. Remember, we need a to tie. give a specific a specific forms, and we don't need to uh, to eat words, right? You say like he is wearing. You cannot say he wearing. Si solo decimos he wearing es él usando. Mm -hmm. You say like he is wearing. Él está usando, right? Y si es negativo, he is not wearing. Right? Para que no nos comamos el, el verbo to be. And the last one is going to be on, let's see, Rodrigo Antonio. Can you help me with the last one? With the lady? With Katy? Hi, teacher. Hi. Can you help me to read Katy? Katy. Mm. Ajá. A saber para dónde se me fue. <laughs> <laughs> Um, ya ven la importancia de, de su cámara. Ajá, ajá. Ay, mi Aquí niña. Estoy, <laughs> Aquí estoy pagando. <laughs> It's cold today. But ah, Katy. But... Uh, no sé, me perdí en la clase. Ajá, ya ven. <laughs> Ayúdenle, Rodrigo, chicos. It's cold today, but Katy. Is wearing. A coat. She is she wearing a coat? She is wearing a sweatshirt, gloves, and hat. She is wearing a book. She is not wearing a sneakers. <laughs> she is not wearing a coat, right? Ya no carga abrigo. 
It's cold today, but Katie is not wearing a coat. She is wearing, she is wearing a sweatshirt, a sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat, right? A sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat. She is not wearing boots. She is wearing sneakers, right? She's not wearing boots. She's wearing sneakers. And to finish with this section of the book, here we have, is Claire, do you remember Claire, the first one? Is Claire, look at the pictures, right? Is Claire wearing a green suit, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes what? Yes. Yes, yes, she is. Yes, wearing. she is. Yes, she is. She's wearing. Yes, she is. Is she wearing a raincoat? No. Is she wearing a raincoat? No, she is not. No, she's not. Not right. No, no she is not. Let's continue. Uh, is she wearing high heels? Yes. Yes, yes. yes she, she is. is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Right. Yes, she is. Yes. Is uh, sorry, Toshi and Noriko. Toshi and Noriko, the second ones right here. Toshi and Noriko. Are Toshi and Noriko wearing swimsuits? No, they aren't. No, they, no, are. they, are. no, they aren't, right? Are they wearing shorts? Yes, they yes, are. They yes, they are. are. Yes, they are. Oh. Are they wearing sunglasses? No, they no, aren't. They, no, are. they, are. they aren't. Is Phil, right, Phil? Algo deprimido, veo a Phil, Yogi. Is Phil, is Phil wearing gray pants? Yes, no. No. No, he is no. not. No, he's not. Uh, yes, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is, right. Yes, he is wearing gray pants. The next one. Is he wearing a brown shirt? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Right, no, yes. He is. Yes, he is. A, a brown shirt? Yes, he is. Yes, 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 yes. Por eso está deprimido el pobre Phil, miren, porque ustedes lo confunden. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. Is he wearing a tie? A tie? No, no, no he is he's not. not. No, he's not, right? Look, he doesn't have a tie. No, he's not, right? He's not wearing a tie. And about the lady, the last lady, is Katie wearing boots? No, he isn't. No, no, no she, she isn't. Is, not. She is, not. is she wearing a coat? No, she isn't. No, 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 she is not. Is she wearing a hat and gloves? Yes, 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 she, yes is. she is. Very good. Yes, she is. And we're going to, uh, I'm going to give you the homework later on. Ha. We're going to move on uh, into the last uh, unit that we have. But first, I want to let you know a little bit on uh, what we are going to be doing on the last day of classes, right? El último día de clases, el día jueves, tenemos una presentación oral, okay? Cada uno de ustedes va a preparar una pequeña presentación, una pequeña presentación, usando una foto de su preferencia, okay? Vamos a usar una foto de su preferencia, puede ser eh, de algún miembro de su familia o una foto así que encontró ahí este, que usted la hizo que no sé, que la encontró en su casa o que la dibujó, no sé alguna foto de al menos dos o tres personas y lo que vamos a hacer es describir estas personas ¿ok? en la foto vamos a decir por ejemplo imagínense que yo les enseño eh, una foto ahí de Quiero ver, voy a buscar aquí a mi prima, Juanita. ¡Tara! She is Juanita. She is my relative. She is my sister. Juanita is 25 years old. She is from Russia. She is Russian. Um, she is very friendly, beautiful, sociable, and talkative. Right? This is my friend Juanita. And today she is wearing very casual, a very casual look. As you can see here, I am going to, as you can see here on the picture, Juanita today, I, uh, she's wearing a very beautiful uh, pink jacket with a blue blouse and jeans. 
She is wearing brown shoes, and for sure she is wearing a, a hair band, right? She's very elegant. So Juanita is my sister. In this other picture, I have my brother, Henry. My brother, Henry, uh, loves gardening. He loves to work in the garden. Uh, as you can see here, he is planting roses. Today, uh, he has a very um, outdoors look. He's wearing jeans, boots, and a red shirt in this picture, right? Henry is a very friendly person and he is from Italy. He is Italian, right? There you have Mr. Henry. And my last friend that I am going to show you here is my, this is my boyfriend, Pepito. As you can see, Pepito loves acting in this uh, picture. Uh, he is in the theater, he is acting. Uh, he is very friendly, talkative and sociable. And as you can see, he's wearing leggings because it's part of the outfit. He's wearing a green shirt, a blue shirt, sorry. He is wearing brown shoes and he's wearing a belt. My boyfriend is from Australia. He is Australian. He is 34 years old. That's it. And that's my family. Here you have three members, right? Juanita is cleaning the garden. Henry is planting flowers and Pepito is acting. Three activities. Okay. ¿Qué información ocupé en las fotos? ¿Qué información ocupé? Toda la que hemos estudiado en este módulo. El nombre, su edad, qué es lo que hace, cómo es, cuántos años tiene, qué está usando, dónde vive y cuál es su nacionalidad. ¿Okay? Así que tenemos que escoger tres fotos ahí. X puede ser de su familia, pueden ser fotos ahí eh, que encuentren de repente. Solo hagan, asegúrense que la foto no tenga copyright. ¿verdad? Que sean imágenes gratis de internet. It's important. Por eso no van a banear ahí el video. <risa> O si son cartoons así como estos, no hay problema. Ok. Images like this ones. Tenemos que escoger tres. Y esas tres son las que van a ocupar para describirlas. Ok. Cada uno de ustedes va a escoger tres y cada uno de ustedes va a explicar tres. Ok. Si no quieren escoger una imagen de internet, pueden usarse ustedes mismos como ejemplo. Eh, Alguien de su casa. Si quieren hacerlo en, en, en la vida real, pueden poner a alguien ahí de su casa. This is my mother. She's from Australia. She's like this. Y la puede escribir. Si no le da pánico escénico, pues la puede ocupar en cámara. Y pues, si le da pánico escénico, ponga una foto. Ok. La idea es que pueda describirle qué es lo que anda puesto, dónde vive, cómo es y todo. Igual los detalles se los voy a enviar en una imagen para que ustedes puedan sacar ahí su información. ¿Cuánto se va a tardar? Alrededor de dos a tres minutos. Cada uno. ¿Ok? Se puede tardar un poquito más, ¿verdad? pero no menos de dos minutos. ¿Questions? ¿Preguntas, dudas, comentarios? Eso es, eso es para el próximo jueves. Yes, es para el último día de clases, para el jueves. Con eso hacemos nuestro cierre de módulo. Con eso hacemos nuestro cierre de módulo con sus presentaciones. ¿Ok? Si quieren ocupar una PowerPoint, pueden compartir pantalla, no hay problema. Si quieren pasar las fotos así y compartir pantalla, también no hay problema. Questions, questions, questions. It is your final exam. Todos van a ir presentando y yo voy a ir tomando notas. Así que por favor no se vayan a, 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 a friquear ahí, freaked out. Si me ven escribiendo, me van a decir, todo lo estoy haciendo mal. No todo lo que escribo es malo. ¿Ok? Así que si me ven ahí tomando notas y todo, es para hacer comentarios al final. Y vamos a hacer comentarios en general cuando todos terminen. ¿verdad? No voy a irlos interrumpiendo ahí en el momento. Carlita, dígame. Pueden ser personajes de película. It can be. Pueden ocupar la foto ahí, alguna foto gratis que encuentren en internet. Pueden ser personajes, no hay problema. 
Y sería tres minutos por los, en los tres. Ah, pueden ser de dos a tres minutos mínimo en, los, en las imágenes. O sea, los más que se tardan son cuatro minutos, cinco máximo, describiéndolos. ¿Okay? Si buscan imágenes así de algún famoso o algo, lo pueden poner en una PowerPoint y ahí ya no hay problema. ¿Ok? ¿Any more questions? El orden es aleatorio. Todos pasan, pero ahí vamos a ir dando. Puede ser que alguien quiera pasar primero y no problema. Y ahí todos nos ayudamos, porque ahí sí lo que, lo que hacemos el día de la presentación es que, por ejemplo, cuando todos pasan, pueden hacer preguntas, le pueden hacer preguntas al final, así como, eh, where, where is he from? What is his name? How old is she? How old is he? Simple question, no. como todas las preguntas que hemos estado practicando. ¿Ok? No. No questions at the end. Así, thank, you, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you turn it up, right? Como en las presentaciones de la escuela. Gracias a todos. Adiós. <laughs> no, but it, it, would be, it would be like that. ¿Ok? No, por el tiempo. <laughs> and, and due to the time, thank you very much. <laughs> no. Okay, so that is going to be for next week. That is going to be the final presentation of, uh, of the module, right? That will be the final presentation of the module. So please, I need you to do it in a nice way because I evaluate mostly on this one, your oral performance, okay? Ahí lo que les evalúo es su desarrollo eh, de el habla, su fluency, eh, and also your use of English language, okay? That is what I am going to evaluate on uh, this presentation. That is the main idea of this, okay? Ese es el punto principal, evaluar su desarrollo en el idioma inglés, en el área de speaking, okay? So, if we don't have any more questions, I am going to make a little introduction on uh, the next topic here. I am going to make a little introduction on the topic that we are going to be talking in the next class, right? That it's telling the time, right? This is the next topic that we're going to cover in the first days of next week. And I am going to give a little overview right now. Important. Todos los que van de las 12 a las 6 es past. It's five past, it's 10 past, it's 20 past. Todos los que van de las 6 a las 12 es two. It's 25 to, 22, 15 to the next uh, time. This is like the first thing that you need to know. From, six to, from 12 to 6 is past. From 6 to 12 is 2. It's 5 to 2 in this case. Si yo les digo, it's 5 to 2, ¿qué hora es? Son cinco alas. 5 to 2. Son cinco a las dos. Las Okay. It's five to two. But if I say, it's two past five. Dos. Son las dos y cinco, right? Because it will be on the next side, right? So in this case, if I say, it's two past five. Son las dos y cinco. And if I say, it's two past 15 2 y 15 right it's 2 past 25 2 25 exactly 25 it is 15 to 2 2 no it is 15 to 2 Un cuarto, cuarto. Ah, 15 para. <laughs> no, go on. It's 15 a las dos. So this is the no, most no. important thing. Imagine the clock in two parts. This is the part of past and this is the part of two. Right? Si yo les digo, es pasado, pasan tanto de las dos o faltan tanto para las dos. Okay? So this is something that we're... Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque eh, el término se dice during en lo que se dice of. ¿En qué one? Sorry. Uh, en el 6, ¿por qué se dice? Porque es of en vez de during. Ah, it's half past. It's like media hora pasa de. Right? Uh, it's half past six. 
right? It's half past. Aquí que ha pasado media hora. Yeah, media hora pasa de, right? And I can say, it's half past six. Imagínense que diría aquí, it's half past six. Seis y media. Las seis y media, right? It's half past six. It will be something like this. Si yo le digo, it's half past six, it will be the small one here and the big one here. It's half past six, okay? But we're going to be working on this on Monday, okay? So let's go and study a little bit on the time. Para que el lunes no me diga, es que no se le ese reloj, teacher. We need to practice, okay? Have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you on Monday. Happy Father's Day to all your fathers. Uh, to all your parents and for the ones who have children have a beautiful father's day see you on one day yes.